Um, the area in the middle, where, which is going to house the equipment, basically anything that anyone would possibly want to steal other than toilet paper, mm -hmm. will be locked except when the park attendant will be there and they will be a full-time park attendant. Okay. Well, they'll be locked at night though, when kids can't go in there at night. Right. Okay. Right. What do you mean the man will have a self locking? In other words, you walk in, the door locks behind you. Oh, okay. Okay. There was a, uh, Mary, go ahead, you had the question at the meeting. Uh, we, I was at the meeting at your office, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a question we brought up because we were afraid that, you know, young people would use the bathrooms for other than what they're made for, and I believe we were told that there would be a uh, park attendant. And what, no, well, but yes, when the you park have a full-time park, park attendant, but right. a full-time park attendant is not there 24 hours a day, seven days a No, no, week. and the, then yeah. the bathrooms would be Absolutely locked Absolutely having, yes. when there's no one there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. okay, and definitely at night. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't, <coughs> I didn't say that clearly, but yes. One more question Mary asked at that meeting. Oh, yes. And they showed us the plans, and that was where were the doors going to be in the back or the front, preferably the front from the avenue, so some people could notice painting was going on. They said they would be on either side. Sides, right. I don't know if that's the best plan, maybe the best plan they have, but it might be worth looking into. I, you know, um, I don't know if that's changeable uh, at this point. I mean, I will ask. Um, I will point out that I did come to this room a year and a half ago, so it's under the design, so. Uh, and, you know, if they're, if they're at the point where they're about to let the contract, I may not be able to, right. to change that. Um, but at I, least the doors are not in the back. We I, did learn right. that. I have to say something, because, uh, you know, th this is, to me, uh, uh, a very important issue, and I have a feeling that the feeling in the room is going to be very different from the feeling that is transmitted on the Internet. There are people who do not believe that we should be fixing the skate park, that we should be redoing Seba Avenue Park, because people in this neighborhood will only destroy it. We can't, don't build a comfort station because there's going to be graffiti. All right? These are comments that I read as, you know, and I'm unfortunately notorious for reading blogs and participating on them. These are some comments that I got. Now, I don't believe that that's what this community wants. I need to hear from you. Do you want the top box? Do you want sprinklers? Do you want us to build this comfort station? Because believe you me, it's going to cost a million dollars to do, and I think this neighborhood is entitled to any park facility that any other neighborhood is entitled to. And, and that is why I have been pumping money into Seba Avenue Park for the last six years. So if that's not the case, other people, I'm sure, would be happy to have the money. But I need to hear from people who believe that <laughs> so that the only feedback I'm getting aren't the people who say, don't put it here. It'll only wind up with graffiti on it. It'll only wind up getting destroyed again. Uh, you know, our kids will destroy it. I I'm sorry. I, I hope that's not how people feel. But if that's how people feel, tell me. I mean, and, and I, will, you know, I will do what you want. That's kind of what I'm elected to do. Okay. Probably, um, probably other late in the winter, early next year. The the uh, uh, the comfort station contracts. I believe the construction begins, in, you know, November. Um, but the top lot extension is not something that will go out for, for bidding until sometime next year. Uh, and so, you know, I'll try, you know, maybe I can even get Parks to come here and, you know, talk to, talk to you and me. You know, I, you know, it's certainly, uh, you know, what, what we usually do is get, you know, the civic leaders in a room so that it's kind of task oriented. But, you know, presentation here wouldn't be a, a bad idea as long as we make sure that the other parties are best interest, like the Little League were represented in the room. Probably be a good thing. I think it's awesome that we get this money for our park, um, but phase one has a couple of areas that seem like it wasn't quite finished. Well, number one being kind of the top lot, which was, too, but it was like, you know, you know, phase one uh, was the result of money that was cobbled together by the senator, myself, and borough president. And um, 
they basically were going to build a skate park, and they said, we have a little extra money, we're going to give you a piece of a top line. Well, they gave us a piece, okay? And, and they didn't, they didn't, they set it up in a place also so that, like, you know, with the skate park where some of the trees were endangered and whatnot, so they want to do it right this time. Now, we have, we're building a top line in Burton Beach. Uh, it's, it's a little farther along than this one is. Parks Department came down, met, brought, brought the community groups down, we walked the site, we said over here yes, over here no, and they accommodated us. So there's no reason why that can't happen here. So I don't want anyone to think that, you know, the, 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 you know there would be sprinklers in the left field at the little league field. You know? My only thing with like, the sprinkler system is we already have a sprinkler system, you know, a few blocks away. I think, you know. Three quarters of a mile. Right. I mean, it's really not that far if you want your kids to get wet. I really wish it would be something different. Like, you know, we already have that, you know. Let's have something different, you know. Such as? I don't know. <laughs> you do parks, I don't know. Yeah, and, and by the way, the, 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 the sprinkler, the reason that parks even suggested it was because of the comfort station, we brought water. We bring in water. We brought yeah, the pipe to the water. So the sprinkler water, yeah. part of this is kind of cheap, right. you know, and, you know, I don't want to use the word, inexpensive. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the idea is, you know, it's a hot summer day, you brought your kids to play on the swings, and. They work up a sweat and like, wouldn't it be nice if they could just go right here yeah. and like run through the water? That's what this is. It's not Sesame Place. So, like, no, we just got to make sure that it's done right. Not like the park next to the school. It's pretty much running all day. Well, you have a park attendant here, so that, you know. Well, no, because in the right. Lee Park, they got to touch the thing, whatever goes on, the key minutes later it goes off. And when that got again, you touch the thing. I, you know, honestly, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on how the sprinklers work, but uh, no, you know, I'm, I have a feeling we're about to become one. Well, uh, you know, we know what not to do now. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Right, fair enough. Yeah. Can this stuff be a little bit for older kids than just for toddlers? Uh, I believe that was expressed in the parks department that it shouldn't just be for the, the little kids. Yeah. That you know, most families. You know, don't only have two-year-olds. You know, whether you want to, you know, and I think that I think that is already in their intention. Because they, you know, a lot of the things are for little ones. I have a little one, and I have ones that are a little bit older, but they have this one spinning thing in the center, which is for the bigger kids. But then there's nothing else for my kids to do there except for go on that. I I I, I don't want to swear to it, but I'm pretty sure that's what the design people in the parks department have indicated <coughs> is, is part of a larger topic. And there's only two swings. And one yeah, no, obviously there could be more. There could be more kitty. Yeah, more swings. Yeah, more swings. That's, that, yeah, that's what started it. You have to have more swings. That's right? what started it. More swings. The kids were working the sweat. They were the pool. Absolutely. How does that happen, Lou? We spent so much on rebuilding Saber Park. And the immediate concern, total swings for millions of dollars. How did yeah, that happen? Well, this, the skate park is what uh, took up most of the money to build. That, and, That's and, perhaps and, the third of the The site, and, I mean, you barely knew there was a park there. This was, and this was as close to building a park from nothing as we've done. Sure. All right, and you know, I mean. I just explained that the, the, the couple of swings was a bonus because they had a little extra money. All right? So they didn't go the far. And, and, then, and phase three, after the comfort station, right, we will expand that. Okay. Absolutely positive. That that's without a doubt less than we don't want it. So oh my okay. Just be okay. Yeah. Anyone else? <laughs> we don't want to be here until eleven like we were with White Island. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.